Well, hello Liberians and welcome back. Now, of course, as many of you know, we are in a serious war with the rebels out of Sierra Leone. Uh, right now, it's quite clear that the odds are not in our favor. 76% of the casualties are coming from our side. I'm going to give it one more turn, uh, see if we can bring some more reinforcements in. But quite frankly, I think we're going to need to possibly look for a peace solution with the Sierra Leonese. Many people have suggested first we should build up our military and only then uh, could we actually do something uh, interesting. So let's see how that works. All right, so far, Russia annexed the Kingdom of Caucasia and received zero gold. Um, and that's interesting. So obviously, they don't have to worry about that monarchist rebellion or uprising anymore. Uh, I'm going to grab my infantry unit and send him into Sierra Leone, of course. And we also have recruitment centers being built in all of our regions. At this point, the enemy is just getting stronger. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go to Freetown and see if we can't get some diplomatic relations. Let's offer peace. Um, we'll just keep the borders remain it is. Peace treaty rejected. Oh no, guys. Uh, let's offer peace again. And we can possibly... Dropping claims. No, no, no. This is going to get very bloody, guys. We may need to fight it to the end. Uh, we're going to keep sending in men. We're still building recruitment centers in other areas, but these guys are not accepting our peace treaty, and they're only getting stronger as the turn progresses. So we either need to hope that they'll send us a peace treaty, or that somebody will get sick of fighting here, which I don't see either happening very soon. Sunni population riots in Gambia. Of course, like I said, we're going to have a lot of these riots, revolutions, etc. 517. Oh my goodness. Things are getting nasty. Um, of course, we're still building infantry and cavalry. I think we'll be receiving one of each next turn, and hopefully that'll change, help turn the tide a little bit at least. We must fight braver men, eat the hearts of the shamans of the enemy, and then you will gain strength to win the war. Uh, if not, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, or if it's just going to have to be, uh, you know, them continuing to conquer our territory. We can't have that. So civil disobedience has returned to order, and there we go. Yes, uh, we have something finished in Bathurst. Uh, this is Bissau. Is this Bathurst? It is. Uh, and we can certainly start picking up some troops. Yes, I don't care if they're a militia, but we can actually get infantry one. Oh my goodness, guys, the war may be changing in our favor. Uh, I'm going to order a cavalry charge in Sierra Leone, of course, uh, and we just have to keep building more and more men. Got another infantry unit coming in. I shall not surrender. Remember, we have plenty of regions. This guy has only one. Uh, this may be a war we cannot give up on as of yet. Especially not if the enemy is not willing to accept our peace terms. Uh, and right now, I must say, in this uh, this war, it has crushed our veteran soldiers. Remember, our men have been in countless wars. And this is the first time uh, that we've actually had a serious, serious issue. This serious, uh, where um, the enemy very may very well overrun us entirely. Look at that. Wow. Um, we've absolutely got to go for peace treaties again. Let's offer peace. Um, we'll keep the status quo. And we'll drop claims on Sierra Leone. Peace treaty rejected. This is getting scary, guys. We don't know where this is going to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building, if I can, in Hotkine. Uh, we'll at least start building some low rail density. And we desperately need those infantry weapons. We haven't received them yet. And it kind of worries me a little bit. Wow, once again, the Kingdom of Caucasia has, Caucasia has declared rebellion. And as you can see here, 17-3. We've just got to keep um, proposing diplomatic relations rejected these guys are not happy with us um we'll offer peace again hmm maybe we need to do something a little bit different my friends maybe we need to try and fund a coup attempt 
let's see if we can fund a coup attempt and see if we can get perhaps socialists to take over the government. Uh, actually, it looks like theocrats are mostly uh, the ones interested. So the best we could do is a nationalistic puppet state. Um, and we're going to spend some money on it. In fact, we're going to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend 1,600 gold. The success rate is only 2%. Uh, let's try to change this to independent. Hmm. A puppet state, a theocratic puppet state. Now, this is something we might be able to do. Let's fund the coup attempt. It's going to cost us money, but it's our only way of getting the upper hand against the enemy here. There we go. Our militia one, or actually our next infantry, is actually ready to go. We'll move by road. And I like how the infantry in this region actually look quite different uh, than the other infantry. Why won't they move? Ah, here we go, guys. The, the actual um, Sierra Leonean kingdom has changed. And now maybe we can propose diplomatic relations with these guys or peace treaty with these guys. Or maybe things will just be worse off for us. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is they now have 17. We still have two. Things are still not going well for us. Uh, let's go ahead and see if they will accept peace. Flag has definitely changed. Rejected. We've got to offer them some concessions. Um, cede all regions claim by Siberia. No, we can't do that. We'll drop claims. Wow. These guys are going to be rough with us. And they have every right to be. Uh, you must declare war on Sierra Leone Kingdom. Move into Sierra Leone. Cancel. What? Wait a minute. This is weird, but we're still battling. Are we battling the actual rebels? I think we might be, guys. Unbelievable. Um, I think I might stay out of this fight for a little bit to see what's going on, because I don't think I know myself. But I believe the rebels have just been destroyed by a little stroke of espionage and diplomacy. Coups seem to work beautifully, my friends, and they've just worked beautifully right there. Uh, that is a masterful, masterful work um, of actual um, uh, diplomacy, I shall say. We did great work. I am greatest diplomat in all the nation, of course. Uh, and we need to rebuild our army desperately after that, especially. So we're going to move out of here. Uh, and the Battle of Sierra Leone obviously was a loss for us. But thankfully, since the government changed over, um, they actually are not so bad. Um, and we're going to propose diplomatic relations with them. And they have accepted. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and... Propose trade agreement. We actually need to buy coal. So I'm going to buy coal. We're going to request aid. And let's see if they'll accept this. I doubt they will. I guess neither of us can transport this. And one of the reasons is because of the fact that all of the uh, transportation centers are over here. So this is going to be interesting, guys. But we're going to keep rebuilding our army. Uh, and hopefully this will all go for the best. Now we must remember, of course, that these are now not really our allies. Uh, but friends to a degree. I don't think they classify as a puppet state, even though we attempted to do a puppet state. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, but they very well might be. And uh, one thing we're going to do is rebuild our army, rebuild this military, um, rebuild our country, of course, and ultimately attack in force and take over this area. We might also consider going to Mali because they have so many revolutions, it makes ours pale in comparison. So that might be another idea here. I want Freetown back. I'll tell you that right now, guys. Now, we do have um, interest. Wow. Papua New Guinea declared war on the Solomon Islands. This is hilarious. Now, this would never happen in real life. I don't think so anyway. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and send some soldiers. And I want to show you guys that the uh, army over here looks different, despite being the same troop as the other ones. And I think that really reflects the culture of the area, which I think is just so cool uh, that they go to that much detail in the game. Let's move our other soldier in here to keep order. And if we have any other riots, I think we're good for now. Let's end our turn.
Here we go, another infantry troop created. Wonderful. And we're doing fine on food. We're losing a little bit of money per, per turn, but I think once we conquer the next nation, um, which actually, we may go ahead and finish conquering Gambia. Uh, and once we do that, we should get all of our cash back, or at least some of it. Okay, civil disobedience has ended in Guinea, of course. Let's start moving our troops forward. I want to take a look at Gambia's military here. 12-12. They've actually got a really strong military. These guys have realized that if they don't fight us, uh, we're going to get them. We're going to give them a lot of trouble. So they're doing our best, their best to uh, actually defend these areas. And what's this right here? The Kingdom of Azavad. Now this does not seem very strong at all. Um, let's take a look over here at this army. 412. Maybe the Kingdom of Azawad will be our next target. Uh, let's move by road and keep the rest of these boys here. And wow, I think that was just a masterful stroke of diplomacy there. Uh, being able to stop that possible destruction of our entire country by funding a coup attempt which removed those rebels. Support for theology has increased within the Ri Liberian Republic. Interesting. I also want to take a look at our uh, government support, and it's 11%. Of course, it's always been pretty low, uh, but this is not great, of course. It's not perfect. Things could be better. Um, but let's start getting over here on the border with this kingdom. Uh, hesitate to call it a kingdom, but we're going to get prepared for a possible war, my friends. And this is the kingdom of Azavad. That's it. Oh, it's got to extend farther, and yes, it does. Uh, they're actually having a revolution over here. Uh, their main cities over here, so I'm glad we did not attack, because they actually look quite strong. <laughs> Let's continue, guys. Of course, at any point, please do feel free to uh, provide us with some great, great ideas for our kingdom. If you, I mean, excuse me, our republic. I keep making this mistake with dictatorship, republic, kingdom. It's all the same to me. But we have a lot of plans in the future and in store for our country. So let's make sure we make the right ones. Beautiful civil disobedience has returned in Lower Guinea. And a recruitment center is built in Bissau. Guys, we now can start building an even bigger army, and why wouldn't we want to? And of course, the infantry has been great, so we're going to keep building that. Um, we also have a hospital here. We've got a food producer, all sorts of great stuff. Um, and I want to build more in Bissau. Uh, maybe some dockyards. This would be pretty great. Uh, we could actually get some trade going, perhaps. Uh, what about over here? We've got a recruitment center being built in Conakry. And in Monrovia, perhaps a power station? Why not? Awesome, guys. Let's end our turn. Sure, the new president of the uh, liberated country, which we, of course, uh, helped fund a coup for, um, is doing just fine. Uh, and, of course, we have a few more sectarian unrests, uh, but our army is building larger and larger. And I want to take a look here at production and research. Um, I want to see what we're researching. We're researching military engineering. Now, this is going to give our guys much better rifles, etc. Uh, so this should be able to help. I'm also going to move some units into this area, uh, Futa Dijon, uh, just to make sure that the people don't riot. And actually, the people don't seem to be building a lot in this area, which is upsetting. Uh, but there's not too much we can do about that. What about Gasamank? Let's get some unpaved roads. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series, and as always, glory to Liberia. We'll take a look at the Sierra Leonean Kingdom, which we financed. It's actually an absolute monarchy instead of a theocracy, um, and it is essentially completely in support of us. It's uh, more or less a puppet state of Liberia for now, but we may need to take over that puppet state and incorporate it into the greater Liberian Republic, which is, of course, this right here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care, and have an awesome, awesome day.